What is up, Responsible Day Traders? Today is Monday, November 16th, 2020, two days until my daughter's 18th birthday. I'm Lindsay Duff, and this is Responsible Day Trading. There were definitely more opportunities than I took. I spent a lot of time waiting for the short to present itself when the longs were just kept going. I have found that that is one of the things that kind of keeps me from making more points. And so what it is, is when you're waiting for the market to do what you expect for it to do in the future, instead of really going with what it's saying at that time, it takes the attention away from what's happening right now and puts the attention on what you expect to happen and the market does not care what we expect to happen yes it'll eventually push its way back down but for now it was still telling me there was opportunities to the upside and I ignored a lot of them but I'm not worried about it I mean two trades today 9.75 points I'll take it I'm good with it I'm okay with these I, I'm okay with smaller days and someone mentioned and I and I read your comment earlier that said I am a scalper if that's what you want to call me that's fine scalpers in my opinion are what I was taught to think about a scalper is that they really don't use any risk management they're just trying to catch a few quick ticks like maybe two ticks maybe three ticks I know I said the other day 1.1.1 point but it's really like one or two ticks one or two ticks that's how I see a scalper so not that I take offense to being called a scalper but I don't love it <laughs> just because of the way that I have thought of a scalper in the past but you know I'm always opening to learning and changing my perception because it is what helps me to do better each and every day if I just tried to do the same thing over and over again I wouldn't be where I am today cheers to change guys remember we've got that discount going on you profit trader 30% off lifetime 30 we will have that free course out hopefully in the next week or two we shall see the next course that we're going to do after that the, the simplifying responsible day trading is going to be a little bit further down the road i would expect it to come out right around christmas the beginning of the year it's coming to that time of year when we've all got things that we're going to be doing family friends blah 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 so yeah all right guys we're going to call that a day. Hope everybody has a wonderful Monday. And as always, enjoy the show. Good morning, responsible day traders. Let me make sure this mic is set up properly. So, I still have this set on the 1597.610.233. We may move to the bigger charts in just a little bit. And let's go ahead and take a look at that daily chart. Okay, so what we're looking at here, and I'm going to pull this back just a little bit is that the MACDs are popping off and pulling away a little bit more. We do have a bit of a reversal bar here. Now, what are we looking at to consider if this is gonna pull back further or not? Well, is this gonna be a reversal bar? Is this close gonna happen lower? Now, I know I said this is a reversal bar here, but really in the traditional sense, it's not. We would want this close to be inside of this previous bar and this close to be a lot lower. Now, if this close comes down and gets inside of this previous bar, now we may be seeing a reversal bar to push this back down. BB looks like it's still trying to pop up, but it is early. Market's only been open for about 25 minutes. So my job is to pay attention to what it's telling me right now. Let's go ahead and pull over the bigger chart so we can just get a look at it. Here's the 10,946 pulling right back into the EMA. We do have strength down in the MACDs here. And we got a little bit of strength down in the MACDs on the 4181 also at this area. So this will be the next area that we're considering to create a bounce. Mm. I'm realizing what I'm doing. I don't have the 10946 in front of me, but I'm looking to those areas and not listening to what these are telling me. So I need to step back from those and just watch what the charts I'm trading are telling me, these three right in front of me. Oh, didn't make it in that one. There we go. Ooh, may pull down further. 
much as these still pulling down. I think we're in the clear for a little bit though. watching how this is weak not following through oh I couldn't even hit my close button I was just about to head over to it they are sure making it hard to be a responsible participant in this game today or the last few weeks and that's okay we have to know how to be responsible in all environments Does that mean we'll miss some moves? Sure. Does that mean I'm heartbroken over it? Hell no. Hmm. I'm just realizing with the boxes that I drew down at the bottom, I was um, talking myself out of the longs with these. Saying, oh, it should come back to here instead of paying attention to what the longs are telling me and, and being on board with it now they're very hard to stay in with and this did give the pop-up it did give the pull back and right here was a nice good little spot to get into that um i just don't have complete confidence in these moves right now like an uncertainty happened overnight when this shot up now people are like "Ooh, are we gonna keep going up <laughs> you know there's some there's definitely uncertainty in it and then we're getting closer and closer to that last major high we had and these little bars tiny tiny big pop uh, right up at the top of the EMA I'm sorry the Bollinger Band It's just not a comfortable situation for me. What I was reminding myself is like when you're waiting on the market to do what you expect it to do in the future, instead of really giving what it's doing the time and attention now, then you'll miss out on the, uh, you'll miss out on all the moves. Even the ones you were waiting on, because by then, <laughs> It shows itself. By that time it shows itself and you've lost complete confidence in it. Let's do it. We'll be aware if it's going to pull back. that was tough to hold through <laughs> and I'm not gonna let this pull all the way back uh, let's see our next area is way up here I 
I'm pulling up to right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And that, my friends, <coughs> wraps up my day. <laughs> that last little bit was tough to hold through. These bar, what it is, is these bars are just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And we're starting to see struggle, struggle, struggle. BBs are starting to get white. And yes, it can just pull down and pop up from there. I don't care what it does. I'm going to pull this off just a little bit so it doesn't bother me. And I'm going to close this out for the day. There we go. 9.75. So we'll take that and be happy with it. So let's go ahead and put it on here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I sure am glad I got out of that one. All right, guys. Whew. These have been some rough days. And, you know, being able to adjust with the way that the market's moving means that we have to adjust our mindset, too, because I did see quite a few opportunities for long. It just they didn't feel right. They were very close to being opportunities that could have looked short. It's just part of part of the game, right? Some days it allows me to take 11 trades. Some days it's one or two trades. Most days it's what's going on up here that really makes that decision. We're going to go ahead and call that a day. Hope everybody has a wonderful Monday. That's day one of three days of trading for me this week. Ooh, that's a lot of light coming in. Okay. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. You know, as always, I look forward to catching you on the profitable side. I love spending time with you, so please like and subscribe. Also, if you want to spend a little more time with me, head on over to www.responsibledaytrading.com. Click on the Start Your Free Course and Learn How to Get Funded button and set up a time to talk with one of our traders. And before you know it, we'll be spending a lot of time together.